Hello everybody, welcome back. Bailey in here bringing you a video breaking down the changes in the latest patch for UFC 4. We've had a lot of patches now, more and more stuff keeps coming. Now this one is chock-a-block full of stuff. There is literally no way I could do the normal format where I bring up a tile at a time and talk you through the points because it's usually about 10. This thing is chosty, it is a big. So I'm going to go through them with you individually. I've got them all in a text document here. Nothing fancy formatted, but we're just going to talk about what's going on. Okay, so first and foremost, the first big change, something that a lot of people will be very excited about. We've got some new fighters coming in and two new fighters right here. Two highly requested fighters, Calvin Qatar and Pedro Munez. Two top contenders in their own respective weight classes, 135 and 145, both very high level, both top five and uh, both weren't in the game during release for whatever reason maybe there were other priorities in getting some of those new lesser known fighters in but they are both in here right now you can play as them there you go pedro at 135 will be excellent addition with the power he might be able to trade with people like cody and also you'll have a great grappling ground game as well which is going to be fantastic calvin guitar is going to have hand speed movement a lovely addition at 145 which is relatively thin in terms of the top uh, competitors that you can pick in that division so maybe if he comes in at four stars with some good boxing that's the meta right now it should help um right following fighters have also been added into new weight classes here we have john jones coming in at heavyweight that's going to be a lot of fun omeri akmedov to middleweight okay not so much uh frankie edgar to bantamweight that's an interesting addition at bantamweight as well i like that probably won't get picked up that much but interesting and alexander gustafsson to heavyweight two new heavyweight fighters here opening things up a little bit it should be fun uh i don't know about luke rockhold and chris weidman at 205 i don't know if they're in the game at that yet but they should be maybe they are maybe they're not hopefully they'll get added anyway um next added new items to create a fighter which include new hairstyles clothing items and emotes to choose from very very good very fun indeed a lot of people have been asking for things like that i will be going to change some of our career mode uh appearances after this patch drops but that's great as well another highly requested feature added venue select to invite a friend so now you are able to choose what venue you want when you invite a friend in you can fight in the kumite you can fight in the backyard should have been there at release i don't really know why it wasn't very highly requested amongst the community and the game changers also this is good for the esports scene because we can have specific events at the ufc apex some events at you know the backyard brawls it'll be a good time um updated main menu and created a new category learn which includes practice tutorials and training manuals so before that was under offline modes now it's a bit easier to get to added simplified controls to custom fight now settings this control scheme simplifies the striking controls to basic inputs and the game chooses what strike to throw next based on the situation don't really know how this is gonna play out um at the end of the day the game is a little complex in terms of its button input systems you know everything is a specific strike everything has a different range you can't really just spam necessarily i don't know maybe you can i've been playing this game for too long this might be a fun way to play for some people it doesn't really affect the meta or the main scene right now we're going to talk about these gameplay updates of which there are many people there are many so we're going to go through them one at a time number one added the ability to deny spear takedowns that was a free takedown on low stamina you can now stop it if you time it well persistent drive added to a few positions that's the continuing drive from takedowns that's interesting as well so you can continue to push through on the takedowns from there added a dash choke to backside postured up position now when you're on the backside previously posturing up has kind of gone away a little bit from that position because of the stamina loss and the ability to defend and the framing on the hooks um now you can posture up and try and sink in a dust joke. Lovely new addition right there. Added transition to side control from backside postured up. So now someone is postured up on you, you can now hit a side control transition. I think this was to stop people constantly reposturing from that position, which was stopped if you just deny the posture up. And now there's a transition to get out of there. Added get up transition to backside posture up. So now this backside posture up position that a lot of people said there were issues with because of the repeated posturing up. There are now positions or transitions to get out of those positions. Very interesting. Um, added get up transition. Added dynamic denial windows to flying submissions. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this means. I think it just means that you have multiple attempts to deny during the different stages of the submission um, rather than just in the initiation of it. Um, so that'll be good too. Added additional information to practice mode HUD. Very nice. We can see that. Fix an issue where consecutive knees from Muay Thai clinch will prevent transitioning to cage clinch. That's when you're right up against the side of it. That'll be good. That's just an issue fixed there. Fix an issue where some ground upon hooks appear to land through successful posts. 
um, they probably, I mean this happens a lot in ground and pound, sometimes it looks like something lands but you just lose block, so that's just a, a, a correction to that. Fixed issue where it's stacked guard, heel hook and knee bar are on the same input, only allowing one to execute, interesting. Fixed issue with players escaping takedowns immediately in certain back clinch scenarios. Um, that's when you shoot a takedown, it transitions to the back and then people automatically exit from that position whereas um you're supposed to be able to stay there and then move to either you know whatever you're going to do next jump on the back do the takedown but that chained into that sometimes as well excuse me fixed issue with potential accidental sway inputs after posting um right that's just again ground and pound issues fixed issue with ground strikes could not cause visual damage to fighters that's obviously important if you're pounding someone in the face you're going to want to see the the damage fixed issue where players would constantly get up from tower takedowns um tower takedowns i'm not actually sure what that one means to be honest guys um instantly get up from tower takedowns maybe that was um perhaps the like the high crotch um anyway it's getting up faster that, that's better to stop that there fix it with rolls being swapped off the cage get up from sprawl right so that's when you um you get up against the cage from that sprawl position and you have your back to the cage but actually you have the position is reversed I'm sure you've been in it quite often. Um, it will show your opponent with the back to the, well, you with your back to the cage and your opponent on you, but actually the position is reversed. It's just an issue in the game. So that's been fixed there. Uh, but, uh, right, ground strikes, visual damage. We've got, got to keep an eye on this. Fix issue with bicep control, spam, canceling opponent's knees. Good. Lots of people had problems with the body knees against the cage. That is a nice fix. So hopefully control that. Fix instances of improper defenses being successful against clinch takedowns and turning takedowns. Um, this is much better sometimes um yeah sometimes those takedowns don't work even when you hit the turns on the angles it's hard to tell because you know if you're the one shooting the takedown you don't know if they inputted the defense properly uh, but this should hopefully stop that so you're just going to be a bit more on point with your clinch and takedown defense now fixed an issue with undue priority given to some ground transitions this must depend on um there's a few there's a few things i've noticed yeah from from priority on ground transitions from three to four sometimes you'll um you'll be able to transition uh, mid opponent's transition just in ways that you couldn't do in three. I don't know if that was intended, but apparently it looks like it's been fixed. Sometimes like we know when you're going to the back sit or they're trying to step over to side control and you're in half guard, and you're trying to hit full guard. Sometimes there's, the priority gets a bit messed up. Fixed issues with sways during ground and pound. Hopefully they work a little bit better now. Sometimes you feel like you do time the slip, but you just don't get it. So there we go. Backside dom punches interrupted subs transitions. Um, these are now disabled during the transition. That's nice. Uh, body side, body side kick and spinning side kick now target opponent's head if they are slipping forward. Um, so if you want to duck underneath um, or moving forward, um, yeah, these are now going to change to the head and hopefully uh, be a nice addition because those kicks weren't really working as well as a lot of people wanted. The accuracy was going way off, so hopefully that addresses that. This is a big change everyone's been talking about. Head damage now causes a small stamina drain. So as you beat someone up, you're going to drain their stamina. You don't have to work the body. This is good. I'm hoping um, it's balanced nicely. And this is a hot topic amongst all the game changers and other people right now is how's the game is going to feel with this as a implemented change because it's a little... I don't know. We don't really know what it's going to gonna be like um, and how much the drain is. Any kind of stamina drain is good. But uh, if someone's being really aggressive and they're hitting you a lot and they're also throwing a lot, I don't know if that will balance itself out. We're going to see. Because I just think there should just be more stamina drain in general, especially from whiffed strikes. So maybe the combination of whiffing strikes and if you're tagging them up a little bit from counter striking will help drain the stamina. Slightly increased damage from knee on belly. That's now a more viable position to be in. Slightly increased permanent damage from ground and pound. Okay, good more longevity over it um, because it was a lot of short-term damage increase the effect of damage attributes um not exactly sure to what extent this contributes to your overall fighter power etc um but we'll have to just see as a balancing issue removed option to I, I think this is actually something to do with um the damage increase from higher level moves so i think if you have a level five move it should just cause more damage now Remove the option to block whilst leaning back when you're swaying or, or uh, doing the pull. I guess you don't really need that. Tune striking during clinch escapes. That's so the free double uppercut does not happen. It should just be one free uppercut based on the timing of the exit. I believe that is still in there. Um, if someone goes uppercut, uppercut, and then you exit, and then they do uppercut up again, you'll get hit with them. 
you have to time it. So if they do uppercut, uppercut, you know, block, block, and then try and exit. If you're immediately pulling back during the whole sequence of them doing the double uppercuts, you'll get hit with those those double uppercuts on the way out, which would now only be one uppercut. But essentially, hopefully that takes care of that uppercut from the, the clinch there. Uh, reduce the duration of the half guard posture state. That is, uh, yeah, that's being patched. Uh, that's that's a lot of damage you can do once you're postured up in half guard. You can really rain down punches from the top you, until like you basically run out of stamina. So that hopefully will stop people from being so aggressive with the ground of power because you won't be able to do it for as long. Um, but that's going to be an interesting one to see how that plays into the meta as well. Removed evasion stamina penalty from attacks evaded by blocking sways. So I don't like this change personally because I think even if you're blocking and you slip, the person should still lose stamina because you've slipped their strike. Um, I don't really get why blocking sways are, are now a thing, except like when you're covering up because you're in a bad situation. Um, but I think they wanted to separate blocking sways and just sways. So now I'm going to have to start dropping my hands a lot more to actually take advantage of stamina draining from attacks uh, with sways. But you know, in UFC 3, you couldn't block and sway. So... I just have to go back to that sort of a system. I don't really like it. I don't think you should remove the evasion stamina penalty from slipping. I think that's fine. Just maybe make, you know, make the counter. The counters from blocking sways aren't very effective anyway. So just make them, you know, if you're going to block sway, okay, they still lose stamina from attacking, but don't have, you know, you can't counter off that. If you want to counter, you sway with your hands down. Um, slip counters have been tuned. Good. This needed addressing. I mean, I, I, I this is a big part of my game, slip countering. All kinds of stuff um i'm glad that that's been tuned that means hopefully more damage um more stamina drain from the opponent as well hopefully this uh, helps quell the aggression that we're seeing a lot in the meta uh, at the moment tuned clinch entry and escape stamina good all right you don't have to worry about losing so much stamina when you clinch if someone clinches you you don't have to be like oh god my stamina i'm going to exit and lose clinch no that's being tuned so hopefully that's a little bit more balanced tune the takedown finish and denial stamina costs as well so more drain on takedown attempts we've had some stuff to make takedowns a little easier because some of the denies were happening so now you can be a bit more important the takedown defense but denying stamina costs and finishing stamina costs um they've basically been increased uh, for both parties, I think. So if I deny your takedown, it's going to cost you more stamina. If you finish a takedown, it's going to cost me stamina. Tune the submissions. Don't know what this is. Very basic, um, but I think that's an adjustment to the joint subs and, and the chokes, maybe just to round them out a little bit. Chokes felt a little underpowered compared to the joint subs, but we'll see. Tune stamina cost of grounded pound strikes as well. Good. Again, slow down the aggression in that position. Um, make people pay. You should be able to unload on the ground, but it should cost you as much stamina as you know throwing hooks on the feet, you know. Um, and then miscellaneous updates here. Cody Garbrandt's and Kevin Lee's tattoos have been updated. UI issues fixed. Fixed issues with progression for some of the challenges. Updated online world championship fighter select to hide opponent's name and division. That's a big change that a lot of people wanted. Now, when you're in the lobby, you will not see your name or the opponent's level before going into the fight you just fight. So that's going to be a big change that's going to affect how OWC works. I mean, less people are going to be able to camp at the top, um, especially with a bunch of changes that maybe change up some of the meta as well. So we're going to see big changes in how the game works and maybe who's in the top 100 as well. Uh, disabled ground defense arrows on legendary difficulty. There we go. Don't know why it was on there anyway. Stamina HUD has been updated visually. Not sure what this means. Maybe they've changed the appearance of it. It is the same basically from UFC 3. So I'll be interested to see that. Uh, maybe it's now going to be more clear about the short term and long term stamina loss and fix general stability issues in there as well. So, I mean, that's a whole lot. How long was that? There was only 14 minutes to run through everything, but um, that is a big list of changes. Obviously, we have the new fighters that some people requested right here. And I'm sure many of you will be pleased with Qatar, Pedro Munez, new creator fighter items are going to be fun. Venue select, that's going to be excellent as well. Um, and other big things here. This is a lot of tuning. The dar strike from backside is going to be interesting, I think, as well. Um, we'll see how that works out. Yeah, there's some, a few changes to ground and pound, which should hopefully help you defend yourself on the bottom combined with the stamina changes. Um, here with the bicep control spam with opponent's knees against the cage, hopefully that should stop now. You should be able to stop those a bit more frequently. Um, the priority on ground transitions, I don't know how this will change anything. We'll have a look. 
spinning as sidekicks and head kicks maybe we'll see a few more of these now um, because of this head damage causing a small stamina drain it says small but we're going to see how significant this is when it comes to the overall game and how much of a change uh, this is um, it could be a really big deal it could not be um, permanent damage from ground and pound is going to be important so ground and pound looks like it does less immediate damage you can't throw as many punches and it's going to cost you more stamina and it's easier to defend but over a period of time the damage you do inflict from the ground will last will just be more permanent essentially so ground and pound is better in the long run as it should be because you kind of you're not always trying to finish the fight you know you're just investing in the late game by just chip chip chipping away which makes more sense um, there is going to be more ways to defend it though which is going to be nice um damage attribute increase so i think there'll be more power now as well slip counter tuning is going to be excellent i don't know how i feel about the blocking sways but i think it's just going to be an adjustment on my part and everybody else's to move away from them except in dire situations and get back to the slips that we normally had clinch entry and escape stamina is going to help change the uh, the clinch spam and the stamina spam right there that a lot of people have been complaining about um take down finish and denial stamina cost we'll see how this plays in as well um because there's a lot of people who just want to clinch and it, it, these two adjustments should mean that anyone who just wants to consistently grapple is now going to have to take more time to set it up because if you keep failing at those attempts it's going to cost you more and more the stamina tuning we'll see what happens there with the with submissions excuse me and again more changes to ground and pound and then some other stuff here the the overwatch uh, the overwatch the online world championship fight select hide name and division is a big change as well that people are going to enjoy so there we go what do you think guys what do you think of those changes let me know what your top favorite changes in the comments We'll have a little chit chat about it i think they're all good all good solid changes a big patch at the end of the month now we're about two months from release after release so there's more and more changes coming and you know they're going to keep doing these this is 2.04 i believe um for the change list there but yeah i hope this was sufficient i hope this breakdown was okay i know it's just me sit here talking there's no on screen you know description information i just thought it might be easier because there's so many changes just to talk through with you you know the actual specific changes and how they're going to affect the game and the meta as well but let me know if you've enjoyed it thank you very much uh i like them good changes all good changes all, all, all rounding out the game tweaking some stuff that we don't like that we dislike as a community um and hopefully the game just gets better and better and better and more enjoyable for everybody as well all right thank you very much appreciate it hope you enjoyed the video let me know again what your favorite uh, changes are what you think is going to affect the game the most and i will see you later i will see you in the virtual octagon and all that jazz thank you very much guys have a good day cheers